in this old video. Hello, welcome to Code Tech and Tutorials. Don't know if my video started yet when I started talking, so starting over. Welcome to Code Tech and Tutorials, my name is Matt. Today I want to talk a little bit about how to tell if someone is actually logical or not. Now you might think that this is actually pretty easy, but it's not quite as easy as it seems. And I just want to apologize in advance for all the car noise, as I am driving. A lot of my thoughts tend to come to me while I'm driving, so I like doing these sorts of videos. Oh, that, there it is. Okay, so let's talk about this a little bit. And I also want to say a few things before I dig in, and that's, you don't have to agree with me. I could be dead wrong on some of these subjects and some of these points, and also that I'm somewhat just winging this. I have a few ideas off the top of my head about what I want to talk about, but for the most part, I am just riffing and talking about kind of what I've learned over the years. Okay, so one of the first things that makes it really obvious to me that someone is not really on point with their points. And that is, there's no nice way to say this, so I'm just gonna come out and say it. And I will once again say again, you don't have to agree with me. I'm not looking to get uh, a big argument started. I just wanna point out some things that seem very obvious to me, and maybe they'll help some of you out there. Uh, and we'll go from there. Well, the thing is God and religion. Oftentimes I see someone make some kind of grand point that's very short, and then their whole reason goes back to God would want it this way, God would, etc. Praise be the Lord. And it's like, you gotta support your argument. The whole problem with that is they don't support their argument. They have no supporting thing. It's just that, oh, God, God, God would do this? It's God's plan? God's plan. Let's go with God's plan. That doesn't support your argument. That's the whole problem. I, uh, I don't have anything against believers in God or whatever, but I do have a lot of problems with religion. I don't think it makes much sense at all. Obviously, there's something out there. The world's enormous, or the world, the universe is so big that there's got to be something, but really, we have no idea. Uh, anyone's guess is as good as the next person's guess as far as I'm concerned. All we really know is that the universe seems infinite and it's largely unexplored. Who knows if there's a God or not? Given in, given the infinite size, there's infinite possibilities, so you could in theory say, sure, there's God, but you still you still can't prove it. You can only theor theorize. And yeah, there, unfortunately, the problem with all the, the religious stuff is it just doesn't add up. It just doesn't make sense. The more you dig in, the more you try to learn, the more you realize it doesn't really make any sense. And there's a lot of, a lot of people that just hard to even explain. I've just known so many people that their whole thing for winning their point of view or getting support or whatever it may be is basically that they're reaching out to other people who believe in God. Their argument is so bad or makes no sense at all that really their only thing they have is that they're looking for other people that faithless or that faithfully believe in God without questioning anything, and they, they get conned into it, basically. It's a con artist game to, to be like, I really need help uh, looking for other believers out there or something like that, you know? And what do they need help with? What's the problem? Maybe, you know, the, the, you need details. It's like, just, they expect someone, other person that believes in God to kind of come forward and be like, oh, I'm, I'm a Christian, I should do the right thing and help this other Christian. And that's the whole thing. And... You know, maybe that's okay sometimes. Maybe you don't need to hear everything to help someone. But where I take issue with that, where it really lacks all logic, is a lot of times it's a scam. A lot of times that person doesn't need help at all. They just are lazy or something, and they don't want to take care of themselves, or they lack self-control, or general have no generally have no control over their, uh, you know, whatever it may be. And they really should work on bettering themselves rather than looking for handouts. Now that's just my opinion once again. All right, but this sort of brings me to my second point. Well, I generally assume people that watch my channel are probably more intelligent than the average budge, given that you're looking for tutorials and 
how to's and trying to better yourself. This is sort of sort of that sort of channel. Also, this is a bit of a sarcasm channel. So take some of the things I say with a grain of salt. And the only reason it's a sarcasm channel is because I accidentally put sarcasm in stuff all the time. That's just my my way of talking, I guess. But I'm not always. Sometimes I'm serious. Um, okay, so second point. You can tell that someone has really no logical thinking ability or completely lacks an argument, but still wants to win the argument, of course. If their whole way of proving their point or getting to their their win condition is basically just tearing down the other person in ways that has nothing to do with the, the actual argument. Say, uh, okay, let's, let's just pick some really simple and arbitrary, not good. Say, say you go to a restaurant and you order the fish and whoever you're there with, say your friend, doesn't like fish. So, for some reason, they decide they really don't want you to eat fish, which makes no sense, of course. It's, it's, if you want to eat fish, eat fish. It has nothing to do with them, really. They might first say, oh, I'm allergic to fish, thinking that's going to change your mind. But really, that makes no sense. It's like, well, you're not eating it. Why do I care if you're allergic? I, I like it. Uh, and when that doesn't work, they go, oh, well, you're stupid if you eat fish. And the logical person would probably leave, probably just leave and never talk to that person again because they're so dumb. But, um, yeah, yeah. so the point is, they go to arguments that really have nothing to do with fish. Like, they personally don't like it, so they want to bash anybody who does. There's a lot of people like this. It's so common. It's, it's just crazy how common this is. And uh, if I were you, I'd get away from anyone you detect doing that because they are going to do nothing but make your life worse, pretty much. They just make no sense. They like tearing people down. Maybe they had a terrible childhood. Who knows? Whatever. They got their own problems. It's not your obligation to fix them. If it is a friend and someone you respect, it might be a good idea to say something like, you know, just call them out. Just say, hey, that makes no sense. What are you doing? You're trying to make me feel bad for eating something I like. Oh, and by the way, as far as we know, fish oil is good for you, the brain. It makes you smarter. So even your terrible argument of uh, your stupid free fish makes even less sense now. So, you know, it's probably best to just call people out like that. And if they don't get it or if they get mad, you, you know, you don't, you're not obligated to stick around for some random person and, and uh, take their abuse. So I guess that's it. If you are uh, talking to someone about something and basically they go to they just go to abuse. They Their way of winning the argument is to abuse the opposer in some way. That just shows that they really have no logical ability and that they're relatively useless in that department. That's really all I got. Really, all I got is those two points. Um, everything else that's coming to mind seems to be fine. Like, you know, most people actually go look at the subject or talk about the subject or just don't say anything. And, you know, that's all fine. But when you go to, uh, you know, just things that really don't add up for the argument, that's that's it. And those are the big two that I see very, very frequently. The whole uh, argument of, well, God, it's like, oh, that doesn't, this just doesn't prove anything. And then abusing the person you're arguing with. You see the, oh, side rant, side rant incoming. You see this with Trump. Did you notice that when Trump, uh, 2016, back in 2016, when Trump was like going for election, a lot of times he didn't even have a counter to whatever other people were saying. He would, be, he just basically calls people out and bashes them. And that kind of shows that he lacks logical sense. Uh, I'm not, I'm not like a Trump hater or anything. I'm just kind of calling it as I see it. I really don't care. I personally don't care what most people do. I got my own life. I care about my family and the people around me. So I don't want people to think that I'm a whoever hater. I try, I, you know, I, I, I don't prefer to hate anyone, but I do see very frequently, not very frequently, sometimes that it's best to go separate ways. And, uh, you know, you really just can't be afraid to call people out. Do it tactically though. Don't be a, don't be a complete jerk if you can avoid it. That's just a random tip. I'm sort of, I, you know, a whole lot of other thoughts are coming into my mind about this topic now, and I'm just not going to go there. Thank you for watching my video. 
feel free to leave a comment below. Let me know what you think. Also, please don't forget to like this video if you enjoyed it. I would love to hear more discussion on the subject. I know it's kind of a deep and difficult subject, but I think it's important. We really, you know, in this day and age, we really need to be logical so we can actually solve the problems in our world and in our lives. It's just going about it in some nonsensical way. It doesn't do anyone any good. Thank you again. Peace out, all.